iced teas are better. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, that's you're what I think. Of that. All right. Thank you, Chanel. Thanks, Chanel. Shifting gears now to what could be a game changer in the fight against cancer, and it's coming from the man who fueled the digital music revolution. And Hoda's here with this story. Hoda, good morning. Some really good news today. Sean Parker is donating $250 million to create the Parker Institute for Cancer Immunotherapy. Its goal? To turn cancer from a potential death sentence to a curable disease. In 1999, as the world was learning they could download music for free, no one expected the then 19-year-old Napster co-creator, Sean Parker, would be helping transform cancer treatment in 2016. Well, you're talking to somebody who, who as an entrepreneur, has, has, has waded into a lot of fields and uh, somehow managed to have a really big difference. And in this case, a really big difference would mean putting an end to cancer as we know it. It's a Manhattan project for, um, you know, for curing cancer with the immune system. And he's donating $250 million of his own money to make it happen. The Parker Institute will bring the country's leading cancer centers for immunotherapy together under one umbrella, coordinating research, eliminating competition, and expediting patient treatments. I think this will revolutionize how we, how this Therapies are developed. Dr. Anthony Rebus is at the forefront of cancer immunotherapy treatment. We know it works. The next step is going to be to make it more broadly applicable. If you're not familiar with immunotherapy, it works primarily in two ways. Doctors either release the breaks on your own immune system, allowing it to discover and attack the cancer, or they create an immune system themselves and inject it to do the same. Watch as the engineered T cells destroy cancer. And because it's your own immune system, there are few, if any, side effects. It's what was used to treat Jimmy Carter's cancer, now undetectable to his doctors. For Rodney Geist, who discovered he had stage 4 melanoma two years ago, immunotherapy simply means life. It's no longer a death sentence. I have uh, nine tumors on my liver. And after 19 months of treatment... My largest tumor has reduced uh, 19%, and the other eight have reduced 84 percent. That's success right there. For Sean, this type of success is just the beginning. Really what this is, at the end of the day, is a bold experiment in how we can do collaborative science. And we will see if we can move the field forward faster. Pretty amazing. At the moment, immunotherapy is most successful on melanoma, lung, and kidney cancers, but it's today being used in trials across the country, tackling at least 30 different cancers. And depending on the type, guys, they say it can be treated with as little as one dose or multiple treatments every two to three weeks. Can you imagine? That's amazing. I mean, don't you feel like it should be, I mean, just watching this, it should be the first thing we're trying. Sure. It, now right. it's sort of the last result. And I also like the part about how the hospitals are sharing. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes, like, a guy can, from Sloan can have a breakthrough, and the guy from MD Anderson doesn't know about it. So wow. now they're, share, they're sharing info and so they're able to move the ball ahead and quicker. I love to see these Sillinghan Valley guys who yeah. made so much yeah. money saying, I'm going to plunge yes. huge amounts of money into doing something yeah. great.